Captain's Log, Stardate 192.168.1.27. We have been stranded on this planet that we have been calling Factorio. We being me and my science officer, Zedtech. Hello. Good day, sir. Hi, Captain. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. <laughs> We've been stranded here so long that I'm starting to feel that we've actually outgrown some of the things that we're doing. Um, the, 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 the inputs are feeling good now. I, I feel like we have uh, balanced out the number of uh, copper furnaces, steel furnaces, and then this mammoth beast of an iron furnace array. So we'll feed into our belt and give us mostly everything we'll ever need. I'm noticing that the copper actually is not quite 100% stacked on the belt, but that's no a big problem there. Uh, I am wondering if we've got enough of everything to move on to the next levels of science that we uh, said we were going to move on to, I don't know, four or five uh, reports ago. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I, th I think this is something we should go and have a look. The first thing we need to do, of course, is get the blue circuits working. If I open up my uh, suit interface here, to be able to make the yellow tech pack there, we need to uh, get these uh, blue processing units underway. And to make blue pro processing units, oh, mouthfuls, uh, we need green circuits, red circuits, and some sulfuric acid. I, I don't know if we've got it on the bus yet. Have we Have we got sulfuric acid down here? I don't think we've got any liquids on the bus. It's, well, it's because they're liquids. <laughs> yeah, I mean... We actually, technically, technically, we do have liquids, and it's a... Uh... It's lubricant. Oh, we, we do have lubricant on the bus being moved via the power of the uh, the barrel. Bending. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how efficient I feel about that, but it's pretty good. So I'm kind of stood here at the moment letting these guys properly arm me up. Uh, by the end of last episode, we had actually built this uh, stone mine. Uh, no, it wasn't a stone. It was iron. It was right next to a stone patch. And uh, just before I started our report, we were getting a few troubles with biters up there. Put down a whole bunch of turrets and... Um, Ammo. Oh, server, server. Come, come back to me, high command. I know you're there. Okay, uh, cool. <laughs> uh, so I think we're all good to leave that for a moment. We've got turrets at the bottom, turrets at the top. It should should at least hold for long enough for us to make these green circuits and then maybe go and kill these encroaching bad guys because there are quite a few encroaching bad guys on our, uh, our mining operation up there. Didn't we try also making tanks? Did try making. I've got it in my pocket. I've got a tank in my pocket. Yep. A thing that we try. Um, I, I, gravitational I, compaction, I guess. Yeah, gravitational compaction. Uh, in my pocket, I keep mini black holes, and I like to throw things down into like the event horizon, so they actually disappear through the wonders of redshift. And then, using my um, Heisenberg compensator device, I'm able to pull it back from that at the edge of that uh, event horizon uh, back into the real world. I mean, well, then I have a question sim for simple you. elementary physics, really. Uh, indeed, go, go. If you have a miniature black hole yes. and you throw items into it, yes. And so does that mean for a split second before the before the well black hole irradiates it away? Yeah. Does the black hole increase in mass? It so before it actually gets in there, does the black hole feel its influence? Is basically the question, right? No, 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 so you throw an item into a black hole, it disappears from, because the, the universe, yeah, yeah. So the black hole gains mass. Yes, I believe so. How massive can a black hole get? Uh, well, in the center of galaxies, there are black holes that measure millions of suns worth. Hello, we've got a little bit of a, an attack going on up there. That that turret's going to buy it soon. That, that is, that is going to die. <laughs> I have a solution, Captain. <laughs> that, does it involve uh, flamethrowers and napalm? No, it well, involves drone strikes. <laughs> drone strikes? Oh man, even better. Even better. Uh, if we can get that working, I am totally about that. Well, it's not really I drone strikes, it's way. setting up an entire network up there so drones go up there and fix it every time they get damaged. Okay, yeah, I, I'm down with that. So put a whole load of robo ports running down or running up yep. as it happens. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with this. Uh, I'm currently running a sort of a liquid uh, sulfuric acid pipeline to try and uh, meet with the end of the bus. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that that's going to be useful in the making of the blue circuits. Is that another solar panel gone down? Uh, no, it's me covering the entire thing with stone bricks. Stone bricks are wonderful. All about that. Fly, my pretties, fly! <laughs> <laughs> Traditional to laugh after that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Do we need a thunder strike every time after that as well? Yeah, if if we can make it happen, we 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 need to. We definitely need to get the powers of um, weather control on this planet. Yeah, I, I mean the closest thing to a thunder strike is the accumulator discharge. I it's guess. true. Yeah, no, we we've, we've got the power of lightning down there, definitely. Um, and I'm um, sure if we make a big enough one, it's going to go boom. <laughs> most things do, I find. Uh, whenever I try to increase the, the mass of most things, ends up with explosions. We should also research personal drug reports. Yes. Yes. We should definitely... I mean, I like having personal robots. It uh, saves me having to deal with a lot of lot of day-to-day -day bodily processes when there's a robot around. <laughs> oh, they're definitely not designed for that. <laughs> Are they not? But they've got these like really handy probes on them. <laughs> Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's definitely a, a deep cleansing device. Okay, I am actually going to have to rip this wall down now. So, Captain, in our quest to leave the planet and uh, go back to whence we came... <laughs> back uh, to gins and margaritas. Our progress is somewhat slow, would you say? Or? Uh, the, yeah, I mean, to be fair, Mr. Science Officer, sir, we uh, are trying to bring back the entirety of all human civilization ever, just so we can get a rocket built as the pinnacle of human civilization technology. Uh, so it, it's not going to be the easiest job in the world. On, well, okay. on the planet, I suppose. I mean, like, in the universe? In the galaxy. <laughs> uh, I still think it's a harder job to move a star than to <laughs> make a rocket. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that that could be. I mean, you need a rocket in the in the uh, at least setting up of the infrastructure of mo of moving a star. Uh, there was this great great race of star movers. Uh, they they were particularly uh, about moving red dwarf stars further away from supernovae because, of course, we don't want all that excess mass being blown apart. Um, and they were specialists in putting reflective domes around the the star uh, and then leaving a small hole on one side. I say a small hole, it was still like several astronomical units wide, but in the in the scheme of the entire sun, it was a small hole, uh, and let out some of the, the solar radiation that way. Thus, through the wonders of, New of Newton's uh, every action deserves an equal and opposite reaction, pushes the star in the other direction, which I thought was a wonderful way of uh, preserving, preserving the past for future generations. It, does it fall down then that it's photon propulsion system? That is a photon to propulsion system, yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes. We have no iron plates at the end of the bus. <laughs> Where's the bottleneck here? I'm Th this, do this one little line here, this is the bottleneck. Can we make this. This might be interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm also doing an interesting thing via the power of robots, not even by the power of my own meat, meat hands. I do prefer doing things with my meat hands. Meat hands? Really? Meat hands, yeah. Yeah, I tried the robot hands once. Um, I ended up breaking everything. And, you know, as as, as my role of captain dictates, I, I shouldn't be breaking things. Just I just asked the uh, the engineer, chief engineer. I've got to destroy the iron line for a second. <laughs> Hopefully the robots will get to it before, I, before it becomes too much of a problem. <laughs> I think I solved the problem somewhat. Oh, well, then I definitely just caused it a fresh then. I don't know what you did. Okay, so what I've done is leading out from the iron smeltery, I've uh, increased the belts from one to two, the number of belts, uh, until it's past the steel furnace, furnace array, so that we can take what we need off the furnace oh, array. That's from there. <laughs> yeah, I know, good, right? I love, uh, this, is, this is great. The, the wonders of modern technology. The, 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 my... <laughs> There might be a problem that our robots are currently busy doing something uh, else. It's fine. All construction robots are <laughs> currently fine. busy. Uh, let me just deploy more construction robots. Then. Oh yeah, that that would be wonderful. I believe we have entire processes given over to just making them over over by my meat body over here somewhere. Yep. Would you replace your meat body with a robot body? Um, with robot body, I you you would have to be like a. a uh, like, uh, show me the robot body first. Maybe. Any that you want to design? It, then then uh, yes, no, no, no. probably. Okay, okay, okay. If... Uh, robot body that's completely made out of nanites that is subdued to your control. Yes. Completely. Yeah, straight. If, if 
If the ability to transfer myself to a digital consciousness and then all the wonders that sci-fi has promised me from that, then yes, I'm, I'm down for it. Even if only half the wonders that sci-fi has promised actually happens, then that would still be amazing. And you know, sci-fi has got a pretty good hit rate when it comes to technology because like it inspires the technology. It gets the people that are growing up listening to this stuff grow up to become engineers and scientists and stuff and go, wow, wait, I remember this thing from my childhood. Why is it not here yet? Let's make it happen. <laughs> um, and I, I, I'm fairly sure this is like where the technological um, acceleration that we spotted at the end of the 21st century came along. Uh, was where people were just like, yeah, we can do this now, and then they went ahead and did it. Which is kind of something that's not not very common, but it should happen more often. So in essence, yes, I would like to be uploaded to a robot body. <laughs> long answers to a short question, <laughs> It I was, guess. wasn't it? I, I, I particularly excel at long answers to short questions. There we go. Who needs robots when science officers are on hand? <laughs> uh, did you see what I did right here? Right here. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. No, I did not. But that looks really good, actually. Extra iron input's I, always good. Yeah, it buys it passes a portion of the factory, not being consumed immediately, yeah. I guess, by science. Uh, I wish there was a command to tell... Oh, wrong way. Uh, uh, to go from, like, to here to here, please upgrade these. Yeah, yes. that would be great. I, I Find and saying. locate all belts that are yellow, replaced with red belts. Oh, yeah, like all belts. No reason why it couldn't happen. It, it would take time, but that's fine. I yeah, that's fine. Like, that's why the robots are turning over in the background, right? All right, let's move the belt on. 601 row of objects missing. Oh, oh. Missing objects. That's nice. Do we have the stone brick actually hooked up to the, uh, the logistics network, or is it just... It was. Oh, yes, it is. There's a lot of underground belts being made that not belts, pipes being used here that probably don't need to be used. It could have just gone straight with the normal pipes. But I like to be able to walk through these little gaps that get left behind. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Sulfuric acid flows. That is a nice expansion. I say so. Thank you. I'm going to do another one on this side and then end up with uh, two rows of blue circuits, which will be totally overkill for what our, produce, our uh, factory can produce. Darkness encroaches upon my vision. I cannot live oh, like this. Captain, you should uh, definitely make uh, a modular armor and uh, attach a night, night vision armor. to it. Yeah, that is a very good idea. I need to look at what is needed for the modular armor. Though. Uh, module? No, it's just red circuits and steel. Power armor, modular armor. When first off, am I already holding a set? No. Okay, let's do it. Need to make sure that I'm not overproducing. Something that I do quite often. Stone's not being made. Why is stone not being made? Oh. Because I think it's the first thing that train is actually. Oh god, no. Train has got. Is there a mess we at the train? We have a bottleneck. We have a. We have a bottleneck. Aha! Uh -huh. I see it. I see it. I see it. Uh, and the train. We. Four trains, fine. And a single train more crashes the system. Well, good luck, science officer. I'll leave it on your capable hand. <laughs> no, no, alright. Let's go. Let's go and have a look. And I, I think I already know why. And what's the problem, and how to fix it? I think I know. Well, well the easy fix would be you have a second line, but I don't. Think <laughs> <laughs> I say easy I, fix. I do not accept a second line. I think everything can function a single line. We should be able to, to be fair. Okay, so why did you get two here? I don't know. Train came running in. Oh, that's you. Okay, good. <laughs> no path. Right, do you want me to drive this one like down? Back. Like... Yeah. Oh, no. oh, oh, where's it going? Uh, move, move, move. <laughs> Turned it off. Turned it off in time. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit the other side of the uh, the other one. Okay, cool. Go, go that one instead then. Yeah, there we go. Then this one should move up. Bam! All right, cool. We got, we got it. We got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow it. I like, I like trains. Let's go see what <laughs> happens. It's a shame it's happening at night, but you know, there we go. Okay, where is this one supposed to end up? That's the question. Go okay, all the way north. Beautiful. Oh, so this is a copper train. Okay, I might need to change the name of the, uh, the color of this. Make it a little bit more orange. So, the one thing that I did is I made the entire net, the entire line, all of them, a single circuit. Okay. I mean, that so means it gonna... all talks to each other, right? <laughs> yeah. So. So it's gonna wait until all of them are clear, and then it will enter. 
Yeah, that should should work. So this one's going to come all the way up to Cisco. And then hopefully I can go then. Uh, yeah. Apart from I am still filling, actually. Let's have a look. 1.8, 1.92. There we go. Beautiful. And I'm rolling. All right. That seems a lot better. Ah, the joys, funs, and frolics of trains. Love them. Yes. Okay. So we've got stone. We've got copper. The iron is literally being dealt with as we speak. Okay. That's cool. Right. There we go. Crisis averted. Well done, science officer. Yes. <laughs> the progression of technology and a belt here represented. Basically, in the beginning, there's yellow belts and yellow undergrounds, <laughs> then it's red. Yeah, yeah. Then it's gonna be blue, blue because eventually. It's just, <laughs> it's just his. Is this no layering of his his? Well, you know. Yeah, the the stratigraphy of uh, of of geology. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the belt moves on. Beautiful. The the shortage of green circuits is very apparent down this end. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna build it up here then. Um. I will come and have a look. I like watching whilst people do real work. See, it kind of looks acceptable by the time you get to this end of the belt, but I think we do the reds further down, and that just eats the rest of the greens. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, these should be long-handed inserters, actually. So could you replace those with long-handed, please? Uh, which ones? These in the middle here, middle. or the top? Yeah. yeah. Okay. When do we need green circuits? Where? Uh, up, up, up here on the belt. <laughs> okay, can you make? Uh... To be fair, we seem to just stop red belts here. I'm gonna pick these up. We 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 don't actually end up using these anywhere. We need uh, we we just need a solid line of cable makers, really. Okay. Okay. I I I I'm done. Let's let's just overkill it and make a line of green circuits and a that line of. Uh, re uh, wire making. That sounds good. What? That exploding? sounded pretty serious. Oh, the turret is finally dead. Oh, we knew it was going <laughs> to happen. <laughs> and we did nothing to stop it. Okay, so I've made my night vision. Where are you? Put you in there. Is there a button to start it? Or does it just work? Uh, oh, I've got no electricity. We need, battery uh. we need batteries and solar panels. Oh my god, we ran out of accumulator charge? Wow, really? Is that is that a thing? Have we have we actually over? We have. Wow! Look, the steam's coming back in. That's cray. Wow. That is cray. <laughs> I think the robots have drained it. Yeah, must have, must have. We've got another warning as well. I think we need to go back to uh, to, to resecure the uh, the defenses up top. I'm thinking maybe uh, a wall. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tell them to set up a new um, solar panel field. Yes, good plan. Good plan. Wow, these personal solar panels take forever. <laughs> yeah. So, Cap, we covered that you would like to be in a robot body. Well, I would like the opportunity to be in a digitized form so that I'm not only restricted to the single body. Uh, I, I would like to be able to jump around because uh, that's a, an amazing tune and we should all take inspiration from it. Okay. Um, here's maybe a stupid question, but... I'm all about stupid questions, lay it on me. <laughs> how long is a long life? How long is a long life? Well, given our uh, life expectancy of 250 years, given in today's day and age, I would say that maybe a 400-year life is a, is a long life, but that that measurement keeps getting pushed back every every generation of the whatever the race we are part of now used to be human i'm not sure anymore i mean like <laughs> look, at, look at these look at these solar panels that i'm putting in like in my modular power suit there's no way that they are actually oh i've got extra extra things like no human puts modular power uh, modular pa uh, solar panels on their shoulders that's uh, that's just not not the way Ooh, here might be a complicated question <laughs> I'm, I'm all about complicated questions <laughs> If time time travel making it possible for purposes of this. Okay, so say that the universe does allow wormholes to loop back in time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we have the obligation of, or do we? Uh, okay, do we have the obligation of making things right in history? Or and second question. Do 
should we change history? Mm, of course, there are many, many, many factors to this. Um, I think if if time travel was proven to be like a branching timeline scenario, um, then you would feel very quickly like there's no point to that because the uh, the the universe that you left, if you will. Um, has still got the same situation going down. Fair enough, the universe that you have now moving on into uh, has has a, a brighter future, but the universe you left doesn't, so you'd be better off trying to apply your prestigious technology to making the thing right in the present, if you see what I'm saying. But if it is a situation where there is only one timeline, the, the great almighty timeline that we all live on, uh, then yes, you should definitely go back and try and fix stuff for a given value of fixed. Obviously, we would need to because we're human. Uh, start a, uh, a council up and try and come to some some sort of consensus as to what the correct uh, correct pathway would be. And of course, get that completely wrong because as humans come together, they can never come up with good up plans. Who well, we put this forest here? And. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Submit the tickets to Mother Nature, I guess. Yeah, that's that's a thing there. Well, where's the robots? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go up to the the mine site. We need more robots. Oh, we do. We need we like. Guess, is there a way? So we have the robots automatically being made. Oh, slow down when you go through here. Uh, we have the robots being automatically made. <laughs> I've Austin to have powered myself between uh... <laughs> between a, a pylon and a tree. Oh, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> what, what was I just saying? <laughs> totally uh, free will. I think you were trying to ask me if it's possible to put robots automatically underground deploy them automatically yeah 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 is there a way to do that because obviously we we have we have them being made automatically but it all it takes our intervention to come along and what is going on with the steering you just you, you know when i go what is going on with the steering and then it stirs me into a corner no good <laughs> you got killed by a locomotive i did i crashed into a pylon like i don't know there there seem to have been some serious steering <laughs> issue there of course captain oh, wow you know yeah of course what, what else is it gonna be <laughs> uh, it is possible to automatically deploy them hey i'm red today oh no i was no no i'm red uh, today take a look here is it uh let me let me look at you you are over there hello how are you doing oh yeah look at it that is. oh that's beautiful <laughs> yeah that's a very good idea this is extremely scary to me, but it is possible. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, let's see if the the simulations can handle it. Okay, I've got a body here. Do I just? Can I right click it? Always make more. Right, I'm gonna fix the problem and then walk because I don't have a car. <laughs> well, I've got a tank, but I haven't got any explosives in it. <laughs> let's, just, let's just go. Let's do it. We'll break everything else that's not me. Piercing round magazine cannot be used as ammo for tank cannon. I disagree. I <laughs> disagree. Oh, there, there it is. All right. It, 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 it was because I was trying to put it in the cannon, not the uh, not the SMG. Because for some um, reason, I looked at the side yeah. and I saw the SMG, and I thought that was my SMG, which is already full of ammo. <laughs> so, yeah. But there we go. I fixed it. Let's uh, let's move on to that. Now I have some guns as well, so it should be good. If I had some explosive oh cannon shells, I'd probably go straight after the uh, the bad guys. We have robots that are not doing anything. Oh uh, my God. Idle robots. Okay, here we go. Is this is this is this crazy? Nah, it's a small place. We can deal with this. Yes. Get this, this madness. Get the spitters. The good thing about the tank is it just keeps rolling. Uh, are you killing the natives? I am killing some natives. There we go. They were they were too close to my border. I was not happy with where they were. Uh, you should go around the lake on that side through the forest and kill those two. Big and small and big hives then. As Up well. to the north, yep, okay. So, Captain. So, science officer. We can develop artillery shells, I think. Can we? We definitely should, if we can. Uh, I, I think we need to get our explosives on pretty, pretty badly. Uh, we need to get the cannon shells for this, but also explosives. I think the entire, entirety of the 
command will be screaming at us that for this episode that we chose a technology that requires yellow sign that we are not producing and it hasn't been moving since uh -huh. we have <laughs> we're, we're, we're good at this, honestly. <laughs> Alright, we've got last billet. This, I don't know if I can take this on with the SMG. I might actually need tank uh, tank shells for this. Tank shells? Mm. Oh, that one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm putting some serious damage into it, but... It's also putting some serious damage into it. You can ram me. it, it will do actually more damage. Just keep on driving. Destroy 10 spawners by impact. Beautiful. Keep moving, yeah. keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> Drive into them. You're strong. Strong. Strong tank. Yeah, you do have a lot of HP, so it's 2000 HP, so yeah. Puny biologically. Yeah, that, that, look at that. Anything. Did it. Did it all. No extra. Yeah, there we go. It's safe. One cannot stand stand in the way of science. You can't. You can't. Especially like armor armor plated science. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I think uh, I think the joke of uh, I'm here to chew gum, kick ass and chew gum bubble gum. Yeah, that that's the one, definitely. Okay, let's jump out here. Do I have enough wool? I don't think I've got enough wool. Oh, we placed all of the stone, Captain. Oh God, my boys. Oh. We boys? placed all the stone. Beautiful, beautiful. I so you've placed all the stone. I have taken out, I think, most of the threats. Uh, we might be separated by the map, but I think with that science officer, we have done some beautiful <laughs> things. We have done some beautiful, beautiful things today. We've managed to get mainly, mostly, the trains under control. <laughs> That's uh, good. That is good. We've managed to get the biters kind of under control. Uh, and Super. I blew up a train. Oh, well, I blew up a car on a train. And with that... Uh, oh? <laughs> oh? Did you replace it? Uh, not the car, but I've got a tank instead. So, yeah, I kind of replaced oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, with that, Captain's Log, signing off. <laughs>